this video is going to be a what's in my mommy purse during the summer. And I wanted to share this with you guys because oh, maybe it'll give you some ideas, but if I've forgotten anything, please let me know in the comments below. This bag is huge. It's a huge crossbody. I can unclip this and make it even bigger. It holds water bottles, baseball caps, sunscreen, bug spray, you name it. It all can fit in here. So that's why I like to carry this one. It's three times bigger than my normal purse that I carry when the kids are in school and it's usually me just running around doing everything and we're not out all day um, except on the weekends and then I can pack a whole separate bag but during the summer it's constant last minute trips a last minute decisions to do things so that's why I like to keep all of this in the purse uh, this first pocket I like to use for tickets or receipts and then this one is where I keep my keys just because it's readily available and easy to get to um, obviously pens, I always have pens on me. This is my coin purse full of quarters and pennies. So that way if we want a smashable penny for a souvenir at a place that we've never been before, we can add it to our collection. My wallet and my phone are always on me, so that's pretty self-explanatory. This paper here is a summer reading journal. Barnes & Noble does it. You can go online and see if your Barnes & Noble is participating. But you fill it out and then they have a list of books that the kids can pick from to get for free if they have them on hand. Last summer they didn't have the book Ethan wanted, but he found one that he wanted anyway. So it's not a big deal. And it's for grades 1 through 6. So it's just a, a nice reading program if your library isn't um, doing anything, which most libraries are. So, you know, one other thing to add to your list if you want. Um, we'll probably be running that out sometime this week. Another thing I have to keep on hand is children's Benadryl. And I also need to add adult Benadryl to my bag because my husband and my son are both allergic to bee stings. We do not have to carry an EpiPen at this point. Um, that could always change. Also in this bag, we have tweezers for splinters and ticks because as much as I hate those things, they happen. Uh, I do have perfume. That's just for me. <laughs> no other reason. Um, hand sanitizer, that stays in my bag all year round along with chopstick with a good SPF in it. Um, better SPF during the summer just to keep our lips from getting sunburnt. And then I have this Band-Aid case. Now I did get this at my kid's registration for school, so I have no idea where you can get these, but I'm sure if you looked on eBay or Amazon for like Band-Aid purse case or something along those lines, I'm sure you'll find something similar. But they just, the Band-Aids literally just slide out and you get one Band-Aid at a time, it's awesome. I have a little bottle of sunscreen here just in case, like I said, a last minute decision to go to the park or whatever it may be and the kids are going to be outside longer than I anticipated or, you know, I didn't anticipate playing outside at all. Uh, so I didn't bring the big bottle of sunscreen. And the last thing that I have here is pocket tissues. Now I keep these all year because... We have gone into porta potties and festival bathrooms, and there were no toilet paper. So these are just good to have on hand along with wet wipes or baby wipes. I keep a big pack of baby wipes on hand for messy faces after they eat, hands, arms, legs, you name it. I keep that on hand to clean them up if we're going to be going into a store or restaurant after we've been out all day. I like to keep that stuff. Um, in my bag. Now, if you guys would like to see what I keep in my car for this summer, let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!